Hey everybody, Fishman here, and welcome to another video. This is going to be a short uh, update. I want to let you know what's been going on with these two algae filters I've built. This is the original one. This is the one that was encased in aluminum, and it's been running now for a year, year and a half-ish, and it really works well. I haven't had any issues with it at all. It flows nicely. It's easy to clean. Its downside, which led me to do version 2, is whenever I clean it, I mean, there's a lot of dirt in there and there's a lot of, uh, in this case, chato, and when you take all that out, there's a day or two or three where there's a bit of a spike in, a, in the nitrate levels. And I thought that was enough of a flaw that I wanted to try and see if I can improve upon it. But as I take it apart here, you can see this is, I think, about four times the amount of chato I put in it, and it's only been running a week. So it is, it is actually a really uh, a good quality filter, and <laughs> that's, a, that's an awful lot of mass. And I'm going to stick it in a bin here shortly, and you're going to see uh, how much dirt it also takes out. But anyway, that's it. That's, this is the reason why I like to run things long term. Uh, at least a year, preferably two, to really get a handle on how things are going to work when it gets dirty, how it's going to work when it's not like brand new out of the box all out all those sorts of things so like I said I wanted to improve upon this so I went to version 2 version 2 is kind of a tilted pattern you can see it shortly and it has three plates uh, here they are here now, these are acrylic plates that I roughed up with uh, sandpaper and the purpose of this is I clean the plates in rotation so there is always going to be algae present this one works differently than the first in the sense that instead of having a big chamber where the chato just grows, uh, water uh, is pumped up, uh, goes through the spray bar, and then drips down uh, through a groove in each of those V's at the top, and then just flows down those uh, panels and algae grows on those. And the whole point is I clean them in rotation so there's always uh, filtration happening. Now initially, here it is here, I let it go for about three months, I didn't clean anything, I just let it run. And then you can see how dirty it's gotten. So after the next clip here is going to be uh, when I've cleaned it out, and now I'm doing regular maintenance on it. And you'll see uh, the initial, the center panel I think is the one that's been cleaned uh, most recently, and then the one on the far uh, far side there, that one up there, uh, was the one I cleaned before, and then this one at the end here is the one that's been running the longest. And you can see it uh, it grows an awful lot of algae, and it takes about three four weeks before well that far panel is about three weeks old and then uh, I clean them every three weeks so about nine weeks total between uh, cycles it works fine but this one also has a flaw and that is I had a, a there's a storm here uh, in town and it ended up there's a power failure and that power failure ended up resulting in these tanks uh, going without power for almost three days this is the tank that it's filtered on. Uh, you can see it does a wonderful job. It is the only filter on this tank. There's no protein skimmer. I do have the Lazy Man's uh, filter on this as well, uh, but this is the only actual like filtration filtration. The rest is all passive. And like I said, it works nicely. I mean, this is a nice healthy tank. And the other one, the other filtration system works nicely, except uh, it needs more chambers, so I'm gonna have to build another version. I think, uh, like I said, the other one actually handled the power fairly really nicely, and uh, this one didn't. So, again, that's the reason why I like to run things long term because things will pop up they may not think of in, one, in an original design. Well, by the way, this is the uh, same plan that's in the, my original intro, and <laughs> it's been growing quite well as you can see. And like I said, it's uh, an ongoing project. I just wanted to give you guys an update. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe. And I will uh, continue to give you updates on this and everything else I build, of course. And hopefully uh, this will interest you. So anyway, thank you again. And I will see you in the next video. And bye for now.